Alright, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to connect two CME <clears throat> routers together, or actually two Call Manager Express routers together, and uh, what I got here is I got one CME router doing its thing, and we are going to create a SIP connection to another CME router over some sort of public cloud or whatever, you know, IPv4 internet doesn't really matter but here's how we are going to do it uh, we got to create our SIP connection first those are the commands there and then we have to do our dial peer so I'm gonna do this all uh, with you guys so let's take a look at what we have here so let me get my camera here here we have two phones this one is phone number 12222, and then the other one is 3404. And according to our diagram, um, it is not connected to each other. Um, whoops, let me pull it back. If I were to call 3404 right now, it would not work. See that? It's sitting right there, sitting on another CME router, as you can see right here, but they don't have any connection they haven't made that SIP connection yet. So let's configure it together and let's get this done. Okay, uh, the 3404 number, this CME router is already configured to connect to this CME router right here. So we are gonna connect this side and then we'll get this working. All right, so let's, uh, let's do this. Go on my router. Let me take off my webcam. And just to show you where this guy is located, if I do a show IP route, and let's only look for uh, BGP routes, the route that I'm looking for is this right here, 143.4.254.48 with a slash 32. And we learned it via BGP, and we are definitely uh, running it over this cloud over here. This is a lab environment. This isn't real IPs, so don't worry about any of this. Um, but this is just a simulation on how to connect two CME routers together. First thing we're going to do is we are going to do this dial peer. Okay, this is where we have to tell the router, uh, well, tell the CME router when a phone dials this extension, where is it going to go? Okay. So everything is going to be with a dial dash peer. And then question mark your way out. We will say voice and then give it some dial, uh, a dial tag. Uh, this doesn't need to be anything significant. It's kind of locally significant, but kind of make it match the dial pattern if possible. And then say it is going to be for VoIP. Okay. Now we are in a dial peer configuration. First thing we're going to do is what is the destination pattern? destination dash pattern and this is where you could do a whole bunch of wild cards uh, I'm not going to get into that I'm just going to configure this specifically for that other number and it's going to be 3404 and we hit enter then we say what is the session target okay if I were to go back we have three options here. If I do a session protocol target and transport, we are going to say target. Where are we going to send these VoIP packets? Okay, and then it says word. Uh, if I just spell out crazy things, this is the syntax they actually want it to be. Uh, this is kind of very confusing, but what I need is the IPv4 version right there. So it's going to be IPv4 colon and then the IP address. Okay. Hit the up arrow, bring my command back, and say IPv4 colon, and then what is the IP? Uh, in this case, it is 143.4.254.48. Let me double check. 143, yep, that's what we need. Go ahead and hit enter. Then we will also say session protocol, and then it is going to be SIP v2. Okay. Uh, I added this no uh, VAD command, VAD. Uh, this is to tell the CME router if you sense uh, no conversation, as in like uh, like it's blank, it's um, no one's speaking for a little while. 
don't send any VoIP packets. So that's what means no VAD. Okay. Now uh, that is it for the dial peer. Now we have to set up the SIP connection. So let me exit out, and the SIP connection is going to be under uh, voice service VoIP, I believe. Right? Let me double check. Yes. And then we're going to do allow connection SIP to SIP, and then have these uh, binding the control and media packets. So we will say allow connections for SIP to SIP, and then go under the SIP um, commands. Now, before I do this, if I don't do these binding control and media source packets and source it from the loopback that is this IP address here, the call will work, but nothing will happen. As in, you can't pick it up, the two phones won't make the connection and start sending data voice packets, it, will, it won't work. Here, let me show you. <coughs> so I, I configured the uh, this this device, the CME router. So let me go ahead and call 3404. And it's not doing anything. Um, the other side, it's not doing anything. Nor did I get a, um, a response like, I don't know where to go. Uh, let me call the other side, 3404. Whoops, cancel. All right, so it's calling this way. If I were to pick it up, see, I just picked up the phone and it's still ringing. And this this phone thinks that it's it's the call is making a connection. But it's clearly not. It's because All right, let me hang up. It's because I did not put in these binding control and binding uh, media source interfaces command. So let me go ahead and do that and it should work. So bind uh, control source interface and this is going to be for loopback one and then bind media source loopback one. Now the phone calls should work. Let me bring this back. Let me make this bigger. How do I make you bigger? I can't make you bigger. All right. Well, whatever. All right. Let's bring this back. <clears throat> All right. Let's dial 3404. Oh, it worked. And then if I answer it. Hello? Hello. Oh, there, there you go. go. You hear it. So uh, we, we just, just made, made the, the connection, connection between, between these two. CME routers and phones, and you can see I'm talking on it right now. Let me hang up. Put that back. So uh, that was it. Um, it took me a while to figure this out, but uh, I'm, I was really excited to get this done. So uh, this is why I decided to do this video. Um, everything to make that connection, and you could do this with more CME routers. If I have another CME router over here, Make sure I make the dial plan or the dial peer, and then go ahead and uh, since this is already done, you don't need to do anything else. Uh, this just allows, all right, when I, whenever I make a SIP connection to wherever I'm supposed to be going, depending on my dial peer plan, then it, it'll work. So now if I wanted to call, yeah, this router right here, and his IP address was uh, 145.6.25448 all I would need to do is make that dial plan and since this is already here it would work just make sure the other side is doing uh, has the um, <laughs> has the corresponding configuration so uh, that's it um, I hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing